Houdini is a 3D animation software developed by Side Effects Software Inc. based in Toronto. SESI adapted Houdini from the PRISM's suite of procedural generation software tools. Its exclusive attention to procedural generation distinguishes it from other 3D computer graphics software. Houdini is most commonly used in FX departments. It has been used by major VFX companies such as Double Negative, ILM, MPC, Frame Store, Sony Pictures Imageworks, Method Studios, and others. Houdini has been used in various feature animation productions, including Disney's feature films Frozen and Zootopia, the Blue Sky Studios film Rio, and DNA Productions' Ant Bully. Side Effects also publishes a partially limited version called Houdini Apprentice, which is free of charge for non-commercial use. Topic: Version history. Topic features Houdini covers all the major areas of 3D production, including these, modeling, all standard geometry entities including polygons, hierarchical NURBs, Bezier curves, patches and trims, metaballs animation, keyframed animation and raw channel manipulation chops, motion capture support particles dynamics, rigid body dynamics, fluid dynamics, wire dynamics, cloth simulation, crowd simulation. Lighting, node-based shader authoring, lighting and re-lighting in an IPR viewer rendering, Houdini ships with its native and powerful rending engine mantra, but the Houdini Indie license Houdini version for indie developers supports other third-party rendering engines such as, Renderman, Octane, Arnold, Redshift, V-Ray, Maxwell soon. Volumetrics, with its native Cloud FX and Pyro FX toolsets, Houdini can create clouds, smoke and fire simulations. Compositing, full compositor of floating point deep layered images. Plugin development, development libraries for user extensibility. Houdini is an open environment and supports a variety of scripting APIs. Python is increasingly the scripting language of choice for the package, and is intended to substitute its original C shell like scripting language, HSCRIPT. However, any major scripting languages which support socket communication can interface with Houdini. Operators. <laughs> <laughs> Houdini's procedural nature is found in its operators. Digital assets are generally constructed by connecting sequences of operators or ops. This proceduralism has several advantages, it allows users to construct highly detailed geometric or organic objects in comparatively very few steps compared to other packages, it enables and encourages nonlinear development, and new operators can be created in terms of existing operators, a flexible alternative to non-procedural scripting often relied on in other packages for customization. Houdini uses this procedural paradigm throughout, for textures, shaders, particles, channel data, data used to drive animation, rendering and compositing. Houdini's operator-based structure is divided into several main groups. OBJs, nodes that pass transform information traditionally these contain SOPs. SOPs, surface operators, for procedural modeling. POPs, particle operators, used to manipulate particles systems. 
chops, channel operators, for procedural animation and audio manipulation. Cops, composite operators, used to perform compositing on footagers. DOPs, dynamic operators, for dynamic simulations for fluids, cloth, rigid body interaction etc. Shops, shading operator, for representing a dozen or more different shading types for several different renderers. RAPs, render operators, for building networks to represent different render passes and render dependencies. VOPs, VEX operators, for building nodes of any of the above types using a highly optimized SIMD architecture, operators are connected together in networks. Data flows through, manipulated by each operator in turn. This data could represent 3D geometry, bitmap images, particles, dynamics, shader algorithms, animation, audio, or a combination of these. This node graph architecture is similar to that employed in node-based compositors such as Shake or Nuke. Complex networks can be grouped into a single meta-operator node which behaves like a class definition, and can be instantiated in other networks like any compiled node. In this way users can create their own sophisticated tools without the need for programming. In this way Houdini can be regarded as a highly interactive visual programming toolkit which makes programming more accessible to artists. Houdini's set of tools are mostly implemented as operators. This has led to a higher learning curve than other comparable tools. It is one thing to know what all the nodes do, but the key to success with Houdini is understanding how to represent a desired creative outcome as a network of nodes. Successful users are generally familiar with a large repertoire of networks algorithms which achieve standard creative outcomes. The overhead involved in acquiring this repertoire of algorithms is offset by the artistic and algorithmic flexibility afforded by access to lower level building blocks with which to configure shot element creation routines. In large productions, the development of a procedural network to solve a specific element creation challenge makes automation trivial. Many studios that use Houdini on large feature effects, and feature animation projects develop libraries of procedures that can be used to automate generation of many of the elements for that film with almost no artist interaction. Also unique to Houdini is the range of I.O. ops available to animators, including MIDI devices, RAW files or TCP connections, audio devices including built-in phoneme and pitch detection, mouse cursor position, and so on. Of particular note is Houdini's ability to work with audio, including sound and music synthesis and spatial 3D sound processing tools. These operators exist in the context called chops, for which Side Effects won a Technical Achievement Academy Award in 2002. VEX vector expression is one of Houdini's internal languages. It is similar to the Renderman shading language. Using VEX a user can develop custom SOPs, POPs, shaders, etc. The current implementation of VEX utilizes SIMD-style processing. Rendering Houdini is bundled with a production class renderer, Mantra, which had many similarities to Renderman in its scope and application in its initial incarnation. Micropolygon rendering is supported, allowing high-quality displacement operations as well as traditional scan line and raytracing modes. 
Shaders are scriptable and composed in their VEX language, or by using VOPs, their node-based interface to programming VEX. Mantra as does Houdini itself, also supports point clouds, which can be similar in application as brickmaps in Renderman. This allows more complicated light interactions, such as sub-surface scattering and ambient occlusion, to be produced with lower computational overhead. Mantra can perform extremely fast volume rendering, and also physically based path tracing, a technique which attempts to more accurately model the physical interactions of light and materials. Touch designer Derivative Inc. is a spin-off of Side Effects software that markets a derivative of Houdini called Touch Designer, tailored toward real-time OpenGL generated animation. It was used on Rock Group Russia's 30th anniversary tour to produce dynamic graphics driven directly by the musicians. Touch Designer was also used to create live visuals for Eamon Tobin's Assam installation tour. See also Silicon Graphics Inc. IRIXOS Softimage 3D Electric Image Animation System Blender Cinema 4D